Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Allotment of the Dead. Um, so autumn's kind of rushing in quite quickly now. Uh, lots to do down the allotment at the moment and uh, it's taking its toll a little bit on the, how tired we've been of late. Um, there's lots down the plot, uh, allotment we still need to do. Lots on the new plot especially as well. Um, but uh, it'll be something that we'll get around to. But I thought I'd take this opportunity and make um what my mum used to call a bit of rough so uh, it's a nice country fruit cake that um, she used to make really quite often when she was uh, when she was with us uh, unfortunately um, i think we're three years down the line now since she's passed over so um it's been left to well to me really to try and keep that recipe going so uh, i thought i'd put it on youtube so uh, let's give that a go. So it's a really, really easy recipe. Um, dates back to the 1970s, I believe. Um, I think it's in an old cookbook that she used to have. Um, kind of good housekeeping or something like that back in the 1970s. Um, so I was born in 71. So uh, it shows you pretty much how long she's been making this cake. So uh, let's have a look, see what we've got then. So 12 ounces of self-raising flour. So uh, all of these measurements will be in ounces. I will put on the screen as to what the equivalent is in grams. But um, this is an old recipe, so uh, calls for old measurements. And we've got um, six ounces of flora and six ounces of caster sugar. So the fruit in this fruit cake is raisins and sultanas. So there's three ounces each of raisins and sultanas and three eggs in this recipe. And there's some glacé cherries. So there is three ounces of glacé cherries, which is about half of this uh, pot here. So it's about 85 grams or so. Uh, a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of mixed spice. Not to, not to be confused with allspice, because you'll get a completely different cake then. And the only other ingredient, which is still in the fridge at the minute, is uh, three tablespoons of milk. So let's get this uh, this going. Uh, the one thing that we that she always used to do with this uh, particular recipe is use her hands so uh, all the dry ingredients and everything and the, and the margarine was all put together with the, with the hands before the uh, wooden spoon to mix all the, the wet ingredients into it so yeah let's give that a go then uh, I've already taken the opportunity to grease the uh, the cake tin so it's an 8 inch cake tin um, for this recipe um, so it's got grease piece of paper that I've also greased with a bit of uh, flora. So uh, that's ready to go. Right, let's get the mixing of everything else going. Okay, so like I said, this recipe is dead simple. Uh, make sure you wash your hands before you do all this. Um, she used to joke that it used to clean her hands as she was doing it but um, I don't recommend that so let's give this a go so all the dry ingredients go into a big bowl okay so that's the sugar the margarine and the fruit in so we'll get some of the glossy cherries in there as well so again we'll be about half of this jar quite like glassy cherries so a few extra won't hurt there we go very sticky okay so the mixed spice so again we just want that level teaspoon of mixed spice again the flavour of this with that mixed spice is really good and a 
pinch of salt. So a pinch of salt. is recognized as one sixteenth of a teaspoon. So that might be too much. So we'll try that. Okay, so that's all the dry ingredients in. Just move those to the side out of the way. Okay, it's time to get the hands in. So get this nice and all together before we add these wet ingredients. Good thing about using flour is it's really soft and it'd be very easy to get this to a stage where everything is combined together. I used to love making this cake with me one because I could always kind of lick the bowl afterwards. You get that nice little cakey remnants left in the bowl. Okay, I think we're getting to a stage now where we can start adding the, the wet ingredients. Okay, that's nicely mixed, I think. Like she said, it's a bit of rough, so try and get as much as you can back in the bowl. Okay, I have washed my hands, honest. I'll wash them again now. Okay, so the next bit is the eggs. Oh, I'm no good at breaking eggs. Absolutely rubbish. There's one. Two. Three eggs. And three tablespoons of milk. So this is semi-skimmed I think it should be full fat milk because they didn't really have semi-skimmed back in the 1970s okay so that's all the wet ingredients in with it now as well so we'll combine all those together should, shouldn't take too long at all. Oh, I nearly forgot a really good um, drink to have while making this. Um, one part brandy, two parts port, port and brandy. Really, really good. And depending on how many of those you have, it depends on how good this cake turns out. I haven't had many, so we'll be all right. Let's fold all these ingredients in.
okay that's a nice cake consistency move the little fella out of the way right so there's our nice greased tin and we'll put our nice cake mixture into the tin first time I made this um, I used a 10 inch tin and it just didn't work um, it burnt really really easily so uh, I guess I'll follow what my mum told me Spread it all around so it's nice and even. It should find its level as it's cooking. left a little bit for me in the bowl so that's all nicely ready to go so uh, what we'll do is we'll put this in the center of the oven at gas mark 4 uh, again I'll work out what centigrade that is for you um, and it's an hour and a half so it's a relatively slow cook um, for this cake uh, but hopefully the results should be stupendous. Okay, so we'll put that in the oven. Hello again guys. Uh, so we've just had an hour and a half of uh, the cake being in the oven and uh, So we've just taken it out now. We'll show you The next step see if it's done Bear with me Okay, so absolutely gorgeous looking cake there. So to see if it's done, uh, we'll put in a knife. And if it comes out clean, it means the cake's done. So that's kind of well done there now. So what we'll do is uh, we'll leave that to cool for about 10, 15 minutes or so, and then we'll take it out of the tin and then we'll put it onto a, a nice cooling tray to uh, cool for the rest of the time. So, there's the end result. A nice country fruit cake. Absolutely gorgeous, it smells really good. So, One of those things that uh, I enjoy 
making because it's something that uh, I did with my mum quite a few times. So uh, yeah, it's always nice to do something that helps you remember the good times and uh, some of the things that we used to do. Anyway, uh, that's all for tonight and uh, we'll see you again soon. All the best guys. Take care. Bye-bye.